Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. I'm here to talk about fuel injectors, how to clean and flow test your fuel injectors. So there's a couple cu couple types of fuel, flow, uh, fuel injectors in the market. There's a side feed fuel, a fuel injector, which this one is. Uh, in this one, you can see there's a little screen and uh, fuel flows in through the side, through the screen, and will be injected into the combustion chamber through the tip. Uh, the other type of fuel injector there is, is one called a top feed fuel injector. And in the top feed fuel injectors, there's no screen. The inlet for high pressure is actually in the top of the fuel injector. And then it squirts out to the bottom, just like this one, into the combustion chamber. And in top feed fuel injectors, fuel is basically flowing in through the top and out to the bottom. Whereas side feed, fuel is flowing into the side and then flowing out through the tip. And for a side feed fuel injector, um, this is a side feed fuel injector fuel rail. And a side feed fuel injector will fit into the fuel rail like this. You'll have a cap that'll kind of go over, it'll kind of go over like that. And there'll be high pressure fuel in the fuel rail. And the computer, the ECU of the car, will send a little signal to these little connectors right here telling the fuel injector when to open. And uh, when it opens and there's high pressure fuel in here, it'll shoot a high pressure atomizable mist of fuel into the combustion chamber through the tip right here. And in that high pressure atomizable mist of fuel, you know, will be the right stoichiometric ratio, uh, air to fuel ratio, and it'll combust and you'll have your combustion event. So basically, uh, I want to <coughs> clean and flow test these fuel injectors because I'm putting together a new engine. And the fuel injectors I got had been sitting around in a box and they'd gotten old and they looked like they had dusty and dirty and I just wanted to give them a good cleaning. And the best way to clean these fuel injectors is to use uh, some kind of cleaning solution like carb cleaner, um, which is what I have over here actually. Just your common carb cleaner that you get from AutoZone or Napa or any of those like kind of auto parts stores. And uh, you want to have that, that carb cleaner you know, flow in through your screens and, and flow out through your tips and clean the, all the insides of your fuel injector and uh, make sure you have a nice, clean, atomized mist coming out of your injector. Um, so, how are you going to do that? How are you going to get carb cleaner or cleaning solution inside your fuel injector and how are you going to flush all the insides and get it to clean out? Um, <clears throat> that's, how I, that's what I did with this apparatus. So, I built this apparatus and this whole thing is built for around $25 or $30. Dollars. And um, I'm going to walk you through the pieces. <clears throat> and in addition to this thing, I bought a fuel injection tester, which you can see right here. This thing costs about $30. Bucks. And I use this in conjunction with this apparatus to clean my fuel injectors and flow test my fuel injectors. Um, and it doesn't really tell you exactly what the, um, what the true flow rate, flow rating of your fuel injectors uh, would be, it tells you what the relative flow rate of your fuel injectors are to each other. So basically I'm going to walk you through the components here. Um, what you have is two fundamental pieces that you need to get going here. Um, you have to get high pressure carb cleaner into your fuel injectors and you need to uh, trigger the injectors with electric signal. And so to trigger the injectors and electric signal, that's pretty straightforward. Um, for that, we're going to use this injection tester. Uh, you can get these off Amazon, eBay. They're typically about $25 to $30, a couple bucks shipping. You'll get it in a few days in the mail, not a problem. And what they have is they have these two leads that you connect to directly to a battery. They'll come with these two leads that you can connect to your fuel injector. And as you can see here, you connect it right to your fuel injector tip. But my fuel injectors have a smaller little electrical lead on them where the plug is uh, than the ones that came with this little injection tester. So I made this little adapter harness just out of spare pieces that can plug into uh, this guy like so. And that one like that. Let's do that. And, and then these guys are the little electrical connectors that are the right size for my fuel injectors. Okay, so basically you'll connect this guy to the battery, positive to that side, negative to there, and then you'll take the little lead and you'll connect the lead to your fuel injector.
right there. So these are the fuel injector. That's the cap holding down the fuel injector. These are all the factory parts, the factory cap, the factory screws. This is the fuel rail. So I'm using the factory fuel rail. Here's my injectors, factory caps and screws. Um, and, and then I'm using the factory end piece right here that has a little fuel rail piece. And, and then I put on a piece of fuel hose. This is high pressure fuel hose, this is less than a dollar. I got some brass fittings um, with a T in it and an air pressure gauge. Uh, this air pressure gauge can be used for fuel pressure or air pressure or liquid pressure. Um, and basically, you know, this one, I'm going to keep it at about 25 or 30 PSI, which is the same pressure that is used in the engine. Uh, this is a big high pressure clear tubing rail, which I'm going to fill up with carb cleaner. And basically, the general idea is we fill this tube up with carb cleaner, which means there's carb cleaner going through all, all of the, the brass rail and the uh, fuel hose and in the common rail. And then with this fitting, this is an air hose fitting. So I'm going to connect my air hose to this fitting like this. And we're going to apply 30 PSI, 25 or 30 PSI of air pressure to the column of liquid that's carb cleaner in here that's being applied to the common rail. We'll be able to monitor the pressure on our little gauge. It should be about 20, 25 PSI. Once all that is uh, all set up and we have the pressure in the system with the carburetor cleaner and the rail, um, we'll, we'll set our injectors to the pulse we want uh, to have it at. And uh, basically this one has three pulses. You can do short, medium, or long. I'm gonna go to long and we'll hit the pulse and the pulse should open the injector. When the injector opens, the high pressure carb cleaner will enter through the side, through those little screens. It'll pass through the injector. It'll clean all the inside the injector. It'll remove all the varnish from all the old fuel or whatever was in there. It'll pass through the tip of the injector and it'll you know, uh, get it squirted out in a fine mist into these little containers. And incidentally, these little containers, these actually are just little squirt bottle containers I got from CVS. So, you know, all said and done, the squirt bottle containers are like $2 each. This is a factory rail. I didn't pay for this. This is part of the car. You know, these little brass pieces are like about five to $10. The fuel hose is about a dollar. Each one of these little fuel, uh, fuel clamps are about $2. This section of clear plastic hose is about a dollar. And you know, the air hose adapter is about two or three dollars. So all said and done, you're looking at like 20 bucks, $25 here in this guy. Like I said, another $30 for this guy. But if you wanted to save some money, really, <clears throat> all you need to do is apply electric signal to your little fuel injectors. So if you had the high pressure system with carb cleaner in it and you want to apply just an electric signal to these fuel injectors, you actually can just run two jumper leads from your battery and, and then have one going uh, to the negative and one to the positive and just lightly tap it real quick and apply little pulses. Because that's what this really does. This thing, when you hit it, it's gonna apply a little pulse, like a little high frequency little pulse to your injector, which is exactly what the ECU does in your car. Um, so it mimics exactly what the ECU is doing when your car is running. Um, and the pressure we're going to have in the system is going to mimic the same pressure that the system would have in the car also. So we're basically mimicking exactly what's going on in the car here, but instead of having fuel on the line, we have carb cleaner in the line, and we're manually hitting the button. Now the cool thing about having one of these electronic injection testers is this thing is like a totally controlled digital signal, and that digital signal is exactly the same every time you hit the pulse. So I can hit the pulse uh, like let's say five or ten times for this guy. Let's say I hit the pulse five times for this guy. Then I move this leads over to this injector. I hit the pulse five times for this injector and I can compare how much fluid came out of this one and how much fluid came out of this one for the same five pulses on each. And I'll have an idea of how much each flows and I'll be able to compare like the flow rate of each to each other. And that's where you get the relative flow rate of each. Um, and another way of doing that, there's a couple ways of uh, measuring how much fluid came out of these injectors when you do something like that. So let's say you do a fixed number of pulses, five on this one, a fixed number of pulses, five on this one. Um, you could either measure how much fluid came into these little bottles, 
or you can put some measuring marks here and basically um, pre-measure out like for how much distance how many cubic you know centimeters or some kind of volumetric amount drops down so you can see kind of like if you drop from here you've used you know 20 milliliters 30 milliliters 40 milliliters 50 milliliters worth of like the volume that's in that tube so that's another way you could measure how much is going down you know based on how much is coming out of the injectors when you pulse it for that five times on each um, so that's kind of what you do that's the general setup it's all set up right now i'm going to set the put the pressure on before you do that you're going to put the card cleaner in so we're going to do that let's get to it line it up Fill it up with carb cleaner. Pull it out. Now I have a little valve here, if you notice. It's a little needle valve. I'm going to go ahead and open the little needle valve. Actually, no, I'm not. We're going to keep that needle valve closed. I'm going to apply my air pressure. That's right. Hear that little guy? So we got air pressure on it. Needle valve still closed. Actually, it's leaking a little bit. You can see you got a little bit of pressure bleeding in. That's why we have our pressure gauge. Also, come over here. Check the regulator. Oh, it looks like we got. There we go. So we're at regulating this guy down to about 25 psi or so. All right, that's pretty close. Open up our needle valve. All right, so you can take a look at our valve up here. We're at about just over 20 PSI. I think that's good enough. Anything over 20 PSI is pretty much an operating pressure for the system uh, when it's in the car. We now have our fuel injection tester. It's connected to this injector. I'm going to hit pulse. We're going to see a mist coming out of that guy, and it's going to clean the injector. Second time. Third time. Fourth time. And fifth time. Bam five times. Now I'm going to move, I would move this over to this injector, pulse this injector for the same five, five times. That will clean the injector thoroughly. That will give us the same volume of fluid displaced through that injector as displaced through this injector. So you can compare the volumes of fluid to each other and you'll have an idea of uh, your relative flow rates to each other. So that's it. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, I'm with Subaru only. If you like the channel, subscribe. Uh, that's our system. Like I said, uh, $30 for the apparatus. Another $30 if you want to go all out and get the injection tester. You know, everybody's got a battery around. Most people have a, have a you know, quarter cable or some kind of compressor available. Um, and to be honest, I, I looked up how much like the factory, big, professional Sun Pro fuel injector testers cost. And those things can cost up to like four or $5,000 starting. And, and this thing is like $30, $40, and you could do it on a budget and do it even cheaper. You know, I went all out and kind of did like a sweet ass little setup, a sweet little injection tester. Honestly, for the pressure, you could use a bike pump and just pump it up with bike pump. A bike pump can get up to like 25, 30 PSI, you know? And for the leads, you don't even have to have the injection tester. You could have two leads, just have pop it real quick and just give it low pulses. It would be hard to like measure the volumes on those, but I mean, you could do this super budget if you wanted to. And I'm doing it super legit, for like 50 or 60 bucks total and this is something i can use over and over again you know for years and years to come so that's it like i said check it out i hope you like the videos we're gonna bring a lot more to you super only that's it